This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello everybody. Well, as you know, I am injured. And it's made me think a, a different way of a lot of things that I look at things. And one of the things that I'm having a problem with is that I can't bling out my games or paint my games and, and do the things that I, I want to um, do. And I always like any type of miniature game that I show you guys. I always kind of like to paint it because I always feels it it adds to the theme a bit it, you know um, when you put your 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 type of um, color or, or or you know you add wooden uh, fish or whatever it is you know it adds to the game and it and, and it immerses you more into the game but with this injury I found that that you know a couple of the games I can't do and I wonder and I pose this question to you guys is if you had to just bling one, go all out, you know, as necessary, you know, uh, the bling is, um, what game would you bling out? What game would you have painted? If you only can have one painted in your collection or blinged out in your collection to the max, what game would that be that you would, that you would take to the next level as far as, as immersion and and theme and things like that and i you know i started thinking about this because there were a couple games I, I wanted to get going i wanted to finish my um my blood bowl uh since uh, second season's in um i've been working on a stadium and now i can't i can't do it because i can't physically put all the stuff together and get it going so uh, you know i started thinking you know, if, if I had to bling just one game, would it be the Blood Bowl game? Would it be making sure everything's painted for my Altar Quest stuff? And I started looking around here, and there's plenty to look at, uh, without a doubt. I think the one thing that 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 really stood out that I would I would like to do, and uh, for me, is actually have three D tiles for for my Space Hulk. Uh, it's already painted, but to have 3D uh, sci-fi tiles for my Space Hulk and really have some stuff where I can really, really build that theme and that tension that this fantastic game has. And, and I think out of all of them, if I only had to do one game, it would be my Space Hulk to add that 3D dungeon. Uh, I actually have the pe uh, some of the pieces to do it. I just have to cast them and, and make some more. Uh, and that's a project that I've been putting off that I want to do. And that's that's like one of the highest priorities to really bling that out. Um, the timer, I think I, I would I would have a more of an electronic timer because I do like the timed minutes. Uh, you know, you know, especially when you are the space marine, instead of trying to figure everything out quickly you have to react within a certain amount of time uh, I like that kind of tension that the timer adds so I would add uh, uh, an electronic timer uh, something with a little uh, theme to it as it gets closer within 20 seconds to have some kind of uh, digital warning or something like that I think that would add even more to the tension of what is already a fantastic game anyways and, and one of my favorites of all time um but i wonder what what are the things that you would do uh what's the one game if, if you didn't bling out any of your games because it is uh, uh, you, you know sometimes it's a cash grab you know why didn't you just put wooden fish in instead of giving us cardboard fish okay now we have to pay another 50 bucks for for this upgrade um yeah, you know, and, and that's why a lot of times I don't do things like that, even though Everdale is a, a, a perfect example that I made sure I had the collector's edition with all the, the special stuff and I bought the special tree 
and all that other stuff because it's one of those few worker replacement games that I really, really um, have an undeniable passion for and I love so much. And another game that you're that um, you, you've probably seen me play. I wish I had the collector's edition, and that's this here, uh, City of Kings, which I think is a fantastic game, and you know I. I know they have all the uh, there's a collector edition with all um, wooden pieces and and stuff like that and I, I, I really think boy I really would like that uh, that one stands out for me um, uh, the uh, Twilight Struggle one looks really good I, I think I just like the whole case and 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 just having everything you know blinged out I think that is a game that that I would really like. But if I had to narrow it down to one, it'd be Space Hulk. So now I pose the question to you, our tremendous and wonderful community. What would you do? All right. If you had to have just one game in your collection painted and blinged out, what game would that be? Which one would you pick and why? That's what I like to see. And if you ever be so kind, you can put it down in the comments. And uh, I always look forward to reading your responses because you make me think of things that I don't normally think about. Uh, certain games that uh, maybe I forget about because a lot of times when I shoot these uh, things like this, it's off the top of my head. I don't sit there and plan them out and I don't have a script in front of me. And the only script I have is the next review I'm going to do. Um, but, um, you know, I always talk from the top of my head because I always think the things that pop in my head first mean something so much to me that, of course, later on when I see things or those things, I go, oh, how could I forget that? It's a funny thing, but you get a organic reaction from me. So I, I, I look forward to seeing what you guys, at least you guys got time to think about this. And uh, let me know. What is the one game in your collection you would like to have blinged out or painted and would really add to your collection? So, I look forward to all your answers in the comments. And as always, it's your old pal Rob. And until next time, we'll see you soon.